Following generations of denials, we are all well aware that our planet is facing a rapidly deteriorating environment caused by global warming. There are serious reasons to fear that our planet can be devastated by the increase of catastrophic sea levels, torrential rains, year-round tornadoes, hurricanes of unprecedented size and ferocity, devastating land all over the planet. I'm interviewing the unquestionable leading scientist in environmental problems, Professor Rogero Santilli. He's dedicated 50 years of research on new technologies for clean energies and fuels at major universities around the world, including University of Miami, Boston University, MIT, Harvard University, the International Center of Theoretical Physics in Italy, the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Russia, and others. For his studies, Professor Santilli has received numerous honors, including being knighted with the title of Sir by the Republic of San Marino in 2011 and by the President of Italy, Sergio Mattarella, in 2018. Professor Santilli is currently the Chief Scientist of Thunder Energies Corporation, a publicly traded company with the stop symbol TNRG. Professor Santilli, what's the ultimate origin of our environmental problems? Our serious environmental problems are due to the current combustion of fossil fuels, which is essentially the same as it was at the dawn of civilization some 50,000 years ago. In fact, <clears throat> we essentially strike a spark and ignite the fuel. This is the combustion which is currently used worldwide from household furnaces all the way to military jets. Why is this outdated combustion causing such increasingly devastating environmental problems? Because the current combustion of fossil fuel is not complete, since about 30% of the fuel is released in the environment with a known environmental problem. This lack of full combustion is due to the chemical structure of fossil fuel, which is composed by conventional molecules, essentially consisting of atoms bonded together by the so-called well-known valence bond, which is, however, so strong to prevent full combustion. Is there any possibility of improving the current method of combustion as to reduce the contaminants in the exhaust? Yes, for God's sake, we are at the beginning of the third millennium, and therefore there has got to be a way of improving the principle of this 50,000 years old combustion. How can this be done? Most contaminants in the exhaust of fossil fuel, such as carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons, are themselves combustible. Their lack of being burned during the combustion is therefore clear evidence that the combustion temperature currently used all over the world is basically insufficient to achieve full combustion. Do you know of a better form of combustion? Yes. From 2005 to 2013, I was the chief scientist of Magne Gas Corporation, a publicly traded company on NASDAQ. In such a capacity, I developed the new fuel known as Magne Gas, which does indeed achieve full combustion because the combustion occurs without any detectable carbon monoxide and any appreciable hydrocarbon in the exhaust as certified by Atlantic Analytic Laboratories and other laboratories. This result was achieved thanks to new principles of combustion. The first was the synthesis of magna gas with the new chemical structure known as Santilli Magnecule, consisting of cluster of atoms with a bond much weaker than the, the bond of conventional molecule, as a necessary prerequisite for the achievement of full combustion. The second principle was the achievement of a flame temperature of magna gas which is more than double the flame temperature of any commercially available fuel, as certified by the City College of New York, at which high temperature carbon monoxide, hydrocarbon, and other combustible contaminants are indeed burned. 
this important industrial development allow me to use a um, stock Chevy Cavalier that had been produced and sold to operate on natural gas with a catalytic converter while I was using it with Magnegas by surpassing all EPA requirements without any catalytic converter. So what is hypercombustion? Hypercombustion comprises new principles of combustion aiming at extending to fossil fuel such as gasoline, diesel and coal the full combustion that has already achieved for the gaseous fuel Magnegas. Can you provide more details? Yes. Hypercombustion is based on the following three main principles. The first consists in igniting the fuel with our um, hypersparks, which consist of um, um, high voltage, high energy, rapid DC discharge that, um, that create a flame temperature at least 10 times the, the flame temperature of current fossil fuel combustion. The second is the conversion of the fossil fuel chemical structure for, from their current molecular structure into the novel molecular structure with a weaker bond. The third principle is the nuclear synthesis for the first time in the history of combustion, per my knowledge, of carbon-12 and oxygen-16 into the silicon-28, as well as other nuclear synthesis without um, harmful radiation with consequential significant if not major enhancement of the energy output compared to the energy output of uh, current fossil fuel combustion. In view of the above feature and under proper funding, hyper furnaces can indeed provide a significant reduction of our environmental problem because they are expected to release no combustible contaminant in the exhaust while providing a significant if not a major in an increase of the energy output compared to that of uh, the combustion of conventional fossil fuel. What is the status of the development of hypercombustion and hyperfurnaces? Thanks to private as well as my personal funds Hypercombustion and hyperfurnace are now established at the scientific level in view of papers published in referee journals, in-depth analysis uh, done during uh, international meetings, as well as numerous uh, scientific experiments. Also, I was able to build a number of prototype hyperfurnaces hyper and test them extensively. Despite the significant advances over a number of years, it is my duty to indicate that the industrial development of the new combustion will indeed require large funds that are not available at the OTC market. However, we are exploring at this moment the possible merger with an established company and then bring together the reorganized Thunder Energy Corporation all the way to NASDAQ where all the necessary funds for the development of the new combustion are indeed available.